hi guys welcome back welcome back to the channel thank you guys for always coming back tuning in thank you for all your support i really really appreciate you guys uh to all my new subscribers welcome to the channel for all who have not subscribed please consider subscribing we would really appreciate it so yeah guys today we're going to be doing some florals so just stick around until i get outside i'll show you what i'll be doing um hey guys stay tuned. <laughs> okay guys so as i showed you in the previous video i mean previous part of the video i purchased these um, florals from um, cv linens and it clearly says peach on there. I thought I was getting peach florals, but when I received them, they were more of a blush color. So what I had to do now, because it was not gonna match the linen that I'm using, the actual peach linen that I received from them as well. Um, it wasn't gonna match the peach linen that I received from them. Um, so it was gonna kind of throw off my center, my table decor. So what I did was I found these um, spray paints at Hobby Lobby. I tried a couple different ones. I tried floral sprays. I couldn't find it in the um, peach color. They were more like coral, which was too dark. Um, so yeah, this one I found from Hobby Lobby. So this is what I'm using. So yeah, guys, just stay tuned for the final look. Okay, guys, so it's the next day. And as I showed you guys in my previous um, part of the video when I was outside, I spray painted these florals to change the color to more of a peachy color. Um, so I had to leave them out so they could dry properly. Um, today I'll be using the, those um, burgundy hydrangeas with the peonies and some greenery, some eucalyptus greenery. Right now I'm just using some tacky glue and I have like a half a spare um, foam ball. It's, um, I believe this one was a 70 inch. I want my bouquet to be at least 17 or 18 inches wide. So when I put the florals in, I will be leaving them, you know, like some gaps in between, like not pushing the stem all the way in. And this way I can determine the size as I go. So what you could do, you could use a tape measure or a ruler to kind of just measure like your 17, 18 inch, and then you just have your florals go out that far. And then, you know, the, the, the white, like the more the further out they are the more florals you will need to fill the ball the closer the florals are to the the actual ball the less florals you will need to fill the ball but then you'll end up with a smaller bouquet so if you want a bigger bouquet then you have to think about that when you're purchasing the florals that you will need additional florals to make a bigger bouquet because of the gap you're leaving in between so you guys so right now i'm just taking my stems and i'm just dipping them into the tacky glue and this is just to make sure that the stems does not fall out while we're transporting them you know it's just kind of keep them nice and sturdy inside of the ball and then you know especially if you're, I'm, you're gonna be reusing this for another event you know i don't have to worry about the floors falling out and having to redo it and all that good stuff so right now i'm just adding a little bit of glue and just sticking them into the foam ball um i didn't use like a fast drying glue because i wanted to be able to make adjustments if i need to so this is why i chose this tacky glue um it will eventually dry but it doesn't dry right away so right now i'm just gonna i already put in my hydrangeas i'm gonna be going in now with my peonies i believe these peonies bunch came with about seven heads on each one so i'll be using two bunches and then I'm going to just go in last with the greenery. She didn't want a lot of stuff. These are like the, the colors that she wanted. She didn't want to add a lot of other colors in there. I had to convince her to add some gold accents to the table. So the colors weren't too flat. But as far as the florals, it won't be anything other than this. We'll just be adding some greenery and that will be it. So just stay tuned and keep watching, guys.
okay guys here is the final look that was very quick and easy this is the final look i'll be making eight of these and one for the head table like one long one for the head table but yeah two simple florals very cute both of them are like very full so i didn't really need a lot of florals um when you're working with smaller florals then you need a lot more to give like you to give the same kind of look so yeah that's it for now let me know what you think don't forget to like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell so you can get notified whenever we post new content until next time see ya Mwah.